What's up guys, in this video we're gonna be talking about the Hollyland Mars 400S Pro, which is a um, HDMI and SDI wireless transmission system. I forgot to say it, so I wanted to hop back in and say really quick, Hollyland did send me this unit for free to review, uh, to make this video. They're not paying me anything extra, they did send me this to keep for free, uh, but they're not reviewing the video before I post it to make sure, hey, don't say this, don't say that. Um, they want my honest opinion, and honestly, man, their stuff has always been so solid, so I was pumped when I got it. But want to make sure you guys knew that, full disclosure, they did send me this for free, so if you want to take my review with a grain of salt, feel welcome to do so. So, if you know what this is, then I don't have to explain it, but if you have no idea what I'm talking about, basically what we've got here is you can um, attach the transmitter on top of any camera and then go up to 400 feet and then have a receiver. So. Uh, people that can use this really, if you are running a small production, you know, uh, and you want to have a monitoring, you know, wireless monitoring, or even like work a follow focus or anything like that, useful for that. Uh, for churches, this is how you create a wireless camera, like a mobile wireless camera. So what we have here at our church, um, we actually have the predecessor to this. Um, this is the upgraded version, but you basically plug this into a camera, you put that camera on a monopod or it has someone holding it, and then you put the receiver up in your booth and plug it into your switcher and voila, you've got a guy that can run around mobile on camera. So, let's dig in to see what you get in the box, features, again, what's the purposes, and we're gonna test it out. So, here we go. Okay, so very, very simple in the box. You have the uh, transmitter, which is red. So again, this goes on your camera and transmit signal. And then you've got the receiver, which is blue, and this goes you know, into your uh, switcher or monitor if you wanna do that. Uh, it's got the antennas here for signal. You've got uh, power, um, so one of these can be powered. Um, you can buy another power system, but uh, what I would say is probably you're going to have um, on your transmitter, use the NPF battery, so these come with the NPF battery plug-in. Most likely you're going to use the NPF battery on top of your camera, and then maybe if this is in a more stationary position, you know, like a monitor, um, then you can use this. And this comes with, I guess, like international power with the adapter for the US, so I'll figure that out if I'm smart enough to plug this in. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's the power. So if you're not familiar with this, um, these NPF batteries are made by Sony. They're kind of a universal battery for a lot of video um, things. So let's get these powered up and we will attach it to the B cam that Jeremiah is running for me and we'll see how these guys work. Ooh. Let's come with that. All right, but too big. My brother. This one. Okay. You are stupid. But the HDMI. Okay, so I've got this set up. I could not find my shorter version of this, but basically uh, what's cool is this did it all by itself. Like it linked everything, did everything. I literally just turned these two units on, plugged them in, and I'm getting signal. So here, you want to keep running and gunning with this? And I'll just use the this here. So, I mean, there's probably a lot of features that I'm not even going to use, but um, on here, it's uh, it automatically syncs to channel two. So if you can see this, um, this guy automatically syncs to like, it just turned on and we're both on channel two. Um, and again, it's just transmitting out of that into this. Now, let me talk to you specifically about this setup that I have. This is the Andy Cine 4K, uh, I think it's a pro, I'll put a, uh, what it is in a link to it. But I love this monitor specifically for this setup because you've got an NPF battery here plugged into the monitor, but see how this is plugged straight onto the monitor? This monitor has an NPF dock, so instead of having to uh, plug another battery into the um, the transmitter receiver, I can just mount this directly onto the uh, monitor. So this NPF battery, this massive NPF battery, is powering both the monitor and the uh, wireless transmitter, or I guess receiver in this case. Yeah. So normally you would have to put another battery on this and then mount this to the monitor. So now I've got just this all-in-one setup that works great. Now cable management could be done better. Um, but again, the purpose of this, what's great about this is for me, if I'm filming by myself, I can set up the transmitter onto my camera and then I can have this, um, you know, this monitor and then I can just walk around with it and I can make sure my framing is correct. I can make sure everything looks good. 
Um, and uh, you can do a lot of other things with this. I can check focus on this. I can make sure that I'm staying in focus. There's nothing more frustrating than filming and not being able to see yourself and finding out that you weren't in focus or the video shut off, the recording shut off for some reason or something happened, battery died. So obviously, uh, and then sometimes it's not feasible to run a massive HDMI cable and have a cable hanging. So this for me is amazing because I can just take this and mount this somewhere if I'm recording drums, personally, then I can just mount this. Or, you know, if I was uh, directing on a film, I could just be sitting right in my chair with my wireless rig while they're filming and I could say, hey, I like that shot or change the composition of whatever it is. So again, this is just, Jeremiah can probably see himself now. You're looking great, bro. Um, but that's what's great about this is to me is the ease of use and ease of setup. So um, now let's dig into some more of the specifics of what exactly this thing can do and maybe some of the more technical aspects of it. Okay, so we figured out the uh, way to use this on your phone. There is an app called Holly View that works perfectly. So then I don't need this, right? I don't need the receiver because this is connecting to the transmitter. Now, the cool thing is though, I can connect multiple devices. Start shooting. These things have like, okay. Okay, so I've got the receiver on this monitor and I've got my phone on the Holly View app. So I'm monitoring both of these simultaneously. So even cooler is if you're like shooting by yourself, you don't even need the receiver you can log into the transmitter on your phone and frame yourself, view yourself, do all the stuff. Now on here is a crazy amount of information like you would see on a uh, monitor. So what you have to do is you download the Holly View app and then you get the serial number off of uh, either the transmitter or the receiver. So if you can see this right here, um, you may not be able to sees, but there's a tiny little um, serial number right there that you can type in. So it, it kind of gives you directions. It's not necessarily just intuitive, but it's not that difficult to figure out. So, um, and then on the um, app here, eject pod. Okay, so an inadvertent test that we just ran is I put an MPF battery on that um, transmitter that wasn't working or it wasn't charged all the way, so it died. So I just plugged in another MPF and it took a second, but this, this came back up. So on here, I'll show you the screen recording, but there's like all kinds of stuff, a histogram, uh, focus, peaking, zebraing, framing. You can magnify aspects of it, false color. So this screen can do false color or in the app, um, mono color. You can test LUTs. You can like try out different LUTs on here. So obviously way more than I would even do. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. Yeah, if you frame right in the middle of my face, you can see there's some just beautiful things happening here um, on that magnify. Uh, let's see, you can do a screenshot. So I can do a screenshot from my phone. So that's another cool thing is, say if like I want to uh, do a screenshot for a thumbnail, I can get my thumb there ready. I can smile at the camera or smile at this camera and do a screenshot. So I got that. Um, you can record video. So here's something I don't really know. You can record video in the app on your phone to your phone, which is cool. I mean, obviously you're going to be recording to your camera, but that's just neat if you want to have just a quick clip to share from your phone. And I think it records so one um, thing you can see as a limitation of this is, you know, I'm shooting in 4K, but this uh, transmits at 1080. So you cannot externally record 4K. So that could be, you know, uh, uh, you know, deal breaker for somebody. But you know, for me, if I'm using it as external recorder, it's probably not going to be a big deal. Um, so, anyways, this is so cool. Just having this app to me, this is going to be great because if I'm shooting by myself and I want to try to frame myself, all I know is that I need the uh, transmitter and the app. So I'm going to shut that down now. On here, on the uh, transmitter and receiver both, let me walk you through this a little more in depth. Um, you've got a couple of things on here. So you have HDMI out, which is obviously very useful. Um, you also have SDI out. A lot of uh, people are gonna use that SDI out. You can power it three ways. You have the power in, which it comes with this um, 
you know, uh, DC in, you've got your USB-C. You can power it via USB-C if you've got the correct power source for that. And then you can also use MPF. So that's great because you've got different power options on there. Um, now there's other things in here. Uh, the menu of these devices we can talk about as well. But, um, you know, basically it's got a lot of great features. Um, and to me, again, what's the most useful thing about it is you can literally just plug it in and it just works. And even the Wi-Fi um, thing, it didn't take me that long to figure out. There's no instructions in here, but I just downloaded the Hollyview app. Uh, it tells you find the serial number. The serial number is on the back of the unit. And then the app fires right up, works perfectly, um, and does exactly what you want it to do. So for me, this is going to be something that I will absolutely use if I'm shooting by myself or if we're doing a mobile uh, shoot for the church. We'll probably upgrade to these at some point. We have the predecessor to these we use here at Royalwood Church. We use these for all of our mobile rigs on our live stream cameras. Um, so it's these Hollyland, but it's the predecessor to these. So this comes in. Price point about this is uh, six fifty. So you may be like, dude, that is so expensive. And it is expensive until you look at other competitors in the market because there's a lot of uh, wireless units that are a lot more expensive than this. So Hollyland to me has really hit that like prosumer, um, you know, price point where it's achievable, attainable uh, price point. These are like all metal construction. Um, they feel great. They're very, very sturdy. I've got a little metal thing here. All of this is all metal. Um, so they're built like a tank. Again, as you saw, they fire up without any knowledge. This is the first time I've opened this box today. I understand the premise of them, but how they work exactly, I had no idea. So I was able to, in 30 seconds, fire these up and work them, and now I have a great understanding of how they work. So let's. Uh, last thing I wanted to walk through is the menu system. So let me tell you about the menu a little bit more. That way, if you want some more in-depth info, you can get that. Okay, so um, immediately we look at this. We've got it's figure out the channel of here. I think you know this. It's shooting in 1080. Uh, this is the signal amount. It's got fans on here, so if I I can change the channel by scrolling up and down, which I would delink it. But if I push and hold the stop button here for a long period of time, it's going to jump to these menu. We've got channel scan. Um, so you know if your units are not linked, I'm assuming you can do that there. Fan speed. So you can uh, manually change the fan speed of these. Although to me, honestly, the uh, the audio you're getting or like this, the noise level of the fans is almost, you, you can't hear them. Now you may in this video hear some fans, but that's not these, that's the light. We've got the our newer light here is noisy. So if you hear any fan noise, it's not from these units. Um, system setting, you know, uh, pair, it's going to, repair this device. So I tried to push the pair button, but I think because they were already paired, it made it freak out. So I just turned it off, turned it back on, and again, it automatically found uh, the transmitter. So let me go back to the menu. So we've got system settings, pair, language, reset, defaults, return. Then we go to Wi-Fi password. It'll tell you the Wi-Fi password, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which I put in. Uh, network info, if you need that. And then version info if you need that. So again, you may want to dig into the details of this, but for me, the fact that I just turn it on and it immediately pairs and immediately works seamlessly is kind of the game-changing aspect of it for me. So again, uh, this is a unit that I'm going to use in my setup a lot. This is the uh, Hollyland Mars 400S Pro. I'm going to link it in the description of this video, um, but man, Mars... Uh, this is a great product line. Again, we've used the predecessor at our church already. Hollyland makes great stuff. I've got tons of Hollyland gear that I use and, and like to use. Um, so I think if you are looking to um, go wireless, whether it's for your church, trying to add some wireless cameras, highly recommend these. If you are a filmmaker and you want the ability to have somebody that can um, run a wireless uh, you know, monitor, whether it's follow focus, whether it's just viewing uh, remotely, um, it's great because, again, you've got this. If you've got a client that wants to watch, they can download the app on their phone and watch from their phone. Um, or if you're shooting by yourself. So my application, shooting a lot of videos by myself, this gives me the ability to make sure that I'm not missing something like dropping the you know recording if it stops or battery dies or I can check everything, make sure I'm good on my phone if I want to run a gun or if I want to get more of a permanent setup, I can have a wireless monitor set up. So um, this is an incredible product. Uh, build quality is great. 
Thank you, Hollyland, so much for sending me this. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions for me or Hollyland, put them in the uh, comments below, and I'll answer everything I can. Um, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, um, I this is not necessarily a typical video. If you know my channel, this is drums mostly, but I also do some video production, specifically things that are helpful for drums, for church production, for things that I find useful. Um, so thanks so much for checking this video out. You can check out the rest of the videos on my channel, which is drum covers, drum tutorials, all kinds of drum and production related stuff. Um, but if you've already checked it out, make sure to subscribe. If you've already subscribed, share this video with somebody you think would enjoy it. Thanks so much for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next one.